I like these simple six questions that really help me understand the needs of an organization and the people within that organization and particularly how to build a team. The first is, I know what is expected of me at work. If people know what's expected of them, if they have clear objectives or tasks or roles, perhaps a job description, anything that helps clarity on what's expected at work. And it's not just about the task, it's also about behavior, contribution, etc. The second is, I have the materials and equipment I need to do my job right. There's no point in asking people to do tasks if you don't give them the materials to do it. So often firms will talk about mission, vision and values and the staff will return to the workplace and the printer doesn't work, the PC is slow. They just don't have the things that they need to do their job properly. It's really important to get the basics right. The next is, I have the opportunity to do what I do best every day. If people have talent, ideas, if they're really driven, but they don't actually have the opportunity to use that to best effect, it can be tremendously frustrating, debilitating, and it can actually bring down not only the individual contribution, but also the team contribution. It's really important that we recognize the resources and talent that we have and use it to best effect. The next is in the last seven days, I have received recognition and praise for the work that I am doing. I think the really important part about this is within the last seven days. Too often we store up feedback, maybe quarterly or even worse, annually appraisals. Whereas realistically, if you want to engender a different performance, if you want to support people, if you want to acknowledge good work, if you want to address all work, you need to do it pretty much immediately. An immediate response will help people understand there and then what they've done great, what they can improve upon. And I think it's really important that we do recognize and praise. It's something that's viscerally important to people and more so than perhaps a paycheck at the end of the month to be recognized as a person, as adding value, as making a contribution, as being meaningful and important, is really important, not only to individual contribution, but to the combined team. The next is someone at work encourages my development. We all need sometimes a shoulder to cry on. We all need somebody who will listen to us. We all need somebody who will give us honest, critical feedback and will be our cheerleader as well as our mentor. And this is particularly important in the workplace. So it doesn't necessarily matter who that is. It need not necessarily be the boss or the leader. It could be a colleague, it could be a coach, it could be a friend. But we should always have that resource that can help us, that can inspire us, that can encourage us to help us progress. And the last of these questions is at work, my opinions count. We talked earlier about the importance of being listened to, the opportunity to do your best every day. You, if you want to feel part of a team, your opinions must be heard. Not necessarily always agreed, but you must have a voice, you must have a say, you must be able to make a contribution. And for your opinions to count, along with other people's, it's critically important that you have that opportunity.